Greetings AAPT members. My name is Colleen McGowan Romanowitz and I'm honored to have been nominated to run for the office of AAPT's vice president. And I'm very sorry I am unable to join you for this president's town hall meeting today live, but I am presently on a boat off the coast of one of the Galapagos Islands and alas, there is no Wi-Fi. Most of you probably know me as a modeler I was a founding member of the American Modeling Teachers Association and AMTA's first executive officer. I'm currently the senior fellow after handing off the XO's job a couple of years ago to someone a little closer to the median age of the membership. I get what it is to be a physics teacher. I've spent decades in classrooms in the ever evolving educational landscape of middle and high school science and mathematics. I've taught in rural, suburban, and urban schools located in red, purple, and blue parts of the country. And although I have been a physics teacher for over 30 years, I am not a lifelong physics teacher. I started out teaching biology and chemistry, which is, after all, the physics of the very small. In 1989, I took the cure and turned to physics, as my PhD committee chair, David Heston, has put it. I was fortunate to do so in an era of generous NSF funding for truly outstanding professional development for physics teachers. I've diligently backfilled my preparation in physics ever since. In addition to ASU's excellent Master of Natural Science program for physics teachers, I've had the benefit of some first rate PD led by AAPT's PTRAs. In addition to leading modeling workshops, teaching university physics and teacher education courses, and doing grant writing and research and development for AMTA. I've developed and taught a number of distance learning courses in the past few years. It seems an old dog can indeed learn new tricks. And one of my pandemic projects has been the co-creation with Carl Pennypacker of Global Hands-On Universe of an international astronomy club, GWIZ Astronomy, for high school students. We meet every week on Zoom and currently have students from four different countries in both hemispheres using Salsa J and Astro Image J to analyze images and find exoplanets and eclipsing binaries. Not only do I get what it is to be a physics teacher, I get what it takes to run a professional organization. In 2011, I took on AMTA as a volunteer executive officer. They couldn't afford to pay me at the time and help the modeling teacher community grow itself from a group of 199 teachers with less than $5,000 in the bank to a fiscally sustainable organization with a current membership of over 2,400. Finally, despite my privileged status, white, educated, straight, native English speaker, as an out of field woman in physics teaching, I get what it is to feel like an outsider. I have no special credentials in the areas of equity and inclusion, but I continue to educate myself about these important elements of community in general and of teaching and learning in particular. I believe access and inclusion in supportive professional communities is central to the success of all teachers. In my opinion, this is why you pay your AAPT dues every year. And this is why you are here today at this virtual conference. If elected, I will put my skills and experiences to work for you to help make AAPT the leading voice and driving force in physics education in the 21st century. Thanks for listening and have a great conference.